prepare because they have the cavalry coming through. The U.S. Army now announcing that they're going to be sending this long line of armored striker vehicles on a 1,100-mile convoy through six European countries. And this is to show solidarity with those countries and allies in wake of all this chaos with Russia and Ukraine. Now, and the situation this was first reported here on the Stars and Stripes saying that this was all going down and then more outlets started talking about this and they're saying the convoy is a highly visible demonstration of the U.S. and its commitment to its NATO allies and its ability to freely flow across all these different countries all these allied borders in close cooperation troops and vehicles involved will be moving from training exercises conducted as part of Operation Atlantic Resolve in Estonia, Lithuania, Poland. They'll move through Latvia and the Czech Republic and make their way down to Germany about 40 miles off the Czech border. They have troops involved coming from the 3rd Squadron, the 2nd Cavalry Regiment. We have Army's 12th Combat Aviation Brigade there, which will provide aerial reconnaissance. And they state that this move is unusual because long distances is usually done by rail. They're calling this the Dragon Ride after its unit's nickname. They're going to be camping out along this route. So they're going to be engaging with local communities along the route, uh, checking checking things along the way so this is what's going down here this long mission 1100 miles that they have dubbed the dragon ride I'll leave a link with more details it's been done NYC said. police busted and this is just the perfect example of censorship and of them getting caught red-handed in doing so well, NYPD officers altering Wikipedia pages related to being brutally killed by police. Corner. You see, a series of IP addresses were obtained and tracked back to the NYPD computer network at its police headquarters. Now they're saying that it's under internal review. But 85 NYPD IP addresses were identified as having edited Wikipedia and attempted to delete entries for Eric Garner, Sean Bell, and Amado Diallo. They've been busted. Now there's a lot more information here at this link, a video clip, but this is what happens when guys put in work out here to get the truth, and you have corruption at its finest, trying to cover the tracks. I'll leave a link. It's been Dabu7.